Are you Fred Jameson? You got him. Package here for you. Oh, okay, where do I sign? Right here. Great. Okay, thanks, sir. Have a great weekend. Okay, thank you. Oh, life sign. Well, that's quick. Let's see what we got here. How to make the most of your stop smoking program. Quitting smoking really made me feel that I could accomplish anything that I set my mind out to. Frankly, I didn't believe that it was going to have me off of cigarettes in 22 days. I'd been smoking for 30 years. Welcome to How to Make the Most of Your Stop Smoking Program. Brought to you by Health Innovations. Dedicated to helping people live longer, healthier lives. Hi, I'm Bruce Hamilton. Congratulations on joining the thousands of smokers who are quitting with LifeSign. The LifeSign program works because it's different. First, it's based on years of scientific research and the most up-to-date computer technology. LifeSign has combined this scientific approach with a method that breaks your cigarette habit gradually and puts you in control of the quitting process. The brilliance really lies in the simplicity of the product. Um, the ideas behind quitting smoking have been around a long time. Computers have been around a long time. The science of behavior modification have been around a long time. The creative leap that brought those all together into this unique, simple, inexpensive product, that was the real creative brilliance that I saw. That's a big issue, whether you should cut cold turkey or gradually taper off. Uh, some people simply cannot go cold turkey. People that have been smoking for 20 years or more, for example, they just, uh, they just simply cannot cut it off, cold turkey. To gradually reduce their consumption uh, seems to be effectual for them. In stage one of this gradual quitting program, you'll record your smoking habits into this life sign monitor for seven days. The monitor then automatically designs an individual quitting program specifically for you. And in stage two, helps you follow the program to withdraw slowly and easily from cigarettes. And finally, in stage three, life sign helps you begin and maintain your life as an ex-smoker. Be sure to read and follow your program guide carefully. It's the key to success with LifeSign. It contains specific ground rules, tells what to do, not to do, and answers questions. Now let's find out what it's really like to use the program. The most important advice of all, follow the program and stick to it. It's as simple as that. LifeSign has proven itself for thousands of smokers just like you. All they had to do was follow this step-by-step -step process to be free of cigarettes forever. I did have some times during the program where I wanted to give up, but uh, I knew I couldn't. I had been working hard for it. I had a lot of people pulling for me, and I figured, why go through it again? And I didn't want to give up. I wanted to win, and I have. As a smoker, I, I really didn't think that I could quit. I thought that would be the hardest thing in the world to do because I depended on it so much. And now that I have quit, I feel very proud. Stopping smoking, which in the past has been one of the most challenging things a person could do, has been simplified by the LifeSign program. In stage one of the program, you tell the little computer about your smoking habits. Let's pick up this computer and see how it works. Hey, Fred, pick up the monitor. Who, me? Who said that? Fred, I'm talking to you. <laughs> well, uh, okay, Bruce. Boy, this is a great program. Talk about personal service. Cheers. The life sign monitor will become your companion as you make the transition to living smoke free. And you can treat it as you would a calculator or watch, for example. It won't be affected by airport x ray or microwave ovens. But on the other hand, it's not designed to take showers with you, Fred, or be dropped off the roof. Turn on your monitor and use a paper clip or sharp pencil to press the start button on the back. After it's started, the monitor should show a seven in the days to go display on the front. If it doesn't show a seven, you just may not have gotten it started properly. Try again with a sharp pencil or paper clip. Your daily routine in stage one is very simple. When you get up in the morning, turn the monitor on. During the day, every time you have a cigarette, you press the smoke button. Then at night, you turn the monitor off when you go to bed. 
and don't worry if a small child should pick it up and start pressing buttons. The monitor has built-in safeguards to protect your program. If you forget to record a cigarette or if you forget your monitor at home for a day, it's all right. Just go back and use the monitor as if you hadn't slipped. This life sign program will still work. If you have any questions or problems, call 800-543-3744. We're here to help you. It's really as easy as it sounds. No matter what Arnold Moses, a former 40-year smoker and successful life sign user, tells you. The life sign monitor is really very, very hard to use. You have to remember, you got to turn it on. You got to remember to turn it off. And you got to press a button every time you smoke. But every time, <laughs> really hard. I love this guy. <sighs> In stage one, you'll also want to begin preparing for life as an ex-smoker. Your program guide contains the details of this phase. Some of the key ones are, it helps to have a quit buddy, someone else who's trying to quit at the same time you are. You can offer each other support during the program. Begin a daily exercise routine. Walking is very good. Start slowly with five minutes a day and build up to half an hour. Fred, wait! Wait, I don't mean start now. I mean, let's go through some more of the tape and you can start exercising a little bit later. How'd that be, Fred? Okay, fine. What's next? Well, cut down on caffeine drinks, coffee, tea, and colas. Drink decaffeinated beverages, fruit juices, or water instead. Start picking out places where you or other people smoke more than usual. You'll want to avoid these places later in your quitting program. We've discovered that smokers have a variety of experiences during stage one. Remember, you're not alone. Thousands of smokers have become non-smokers with life sign. Still, you may be feeling a little afraid or apprehensive. After all, cigarettes have been a part of your life for a long, long time. Being without them may be a scary idea, or you may be afraid you won't be able to quit. That's what homemaker and new mother Annie Kilkelly, a long-term smoker, felt before she started the program. I was afraid that I, I could never do it because I had tried to quit before, and number one, it was so difficult, I really didn't want to try again. And number two, it only, I guess it lasted for what, two months? This feeling of fear of failure is common and expected, but at the same time, you should be proud of yourself for taking this step. You're doing something about a habit that's been controlling you. Now, the tables are turned, and you are in control. Yeah, yeah, I'm in control, and I'm gonna do it this time. Very proud of myself. It really, it's nice. It doesn't run me. I don't, cigarettes don't run me at all. I now just don't smoke. Uh, many people have commented. I smile. I'm really proud of myself. Now that I've quit, I feel that I'm more in control. I know that I can, I can handle things without having a crutch to lean on, so to speak. Um, I look back to the time that I was smoking and I realized that it was a filthy, disgusting habit. During stage one, you may also be feeling more aware of the many negative aspects of the smoking habit. See if this sounds familiar. One of my biggest things against smoking was I used to always burn my clothes. You know, you'd light a match and the flame would off and you burn a hole in your pants. My 18-year-old daughter was actually belligerent about my smoking. She would physically take packs of cigarettes away, hide them, crush them, uh, tell me not to dirty ashtrays, um, tell me what a disgusting habit it was. My daughter used to come and say, Daddy, you need to quit smoking because it will kill you. you know, it messes up your lungs and you can get cancer. And my son would say, yes, a teacher always tells us you know, not to smoke, not to smoke, and tell your parents don't smoke. And that, you know, it's bad for us to even be around you while you smoke. The disgusting part is the smell of the smoke permeating everything. Your hair, your clothes, the office was just always smoke-filled. Um, people would walk in, they kind of go like this to clear the air. Um, if you dated a non-smoker. Hey, wait, hold on a second. A wait a minute, wait a minute. I got something to say. The reason I'm gonna stop smoking is that I'm worried about my health. This scares me. All right, you're right, it's my clothes smell, my house smells. 
I go crazy on an airplane. I feel like a social outcast. But the bottom line is, I'm worried about my health. Fred, I understand. Just remember that you'll be living without all those complications very soon. The purpose of stage two in the Life Sign program is twofold. First, you'll be breaking the psychological and social ties you have to your smoking habit. Second, you will be slowly reducing the amount of nicotine in your body. At the end of stage two, you will have stopped smoking. Fred? Let's get started. Your life sign monitor will be your guide through stage two by letting you know when it's time to smoke. The left hand screen on the monitor will tell you how many days you have until your quit day, your last day as a smoker. The number of days will be different for different people depending on your individual smoking profile. The right hand screen will show either smoke or don't smoke. It will also display the time to go until you can have your next cigarette. When it's time to smoke, the monitor will beep. That's the signal to light up. At the beginning of stage two, you probably won't be smoking less, just at different times. This starts to break habits like lighting up after a meal or when the phone rings. As stage two progresses, the period between cigarettes becomes longer and longer. Annie Kilkelly's reaction to stage two? Then the first morning I woke up and I'm the type when the, my feet would hit the ground, I'd light up my cigarette and I, I couldn't have one for 20 minutes and I thought, I'm never going to make, make it. I made the 20 minutes and each day I made it longer and longer and I really felt like I accomplished something each day going to bed. I thought, gee, I only had, you know, 10 cigarettes today and then the next day I'd be like, gosh, I only had five, you know. And, it kept building and building till finally when I woke up in the morning and it looked as if I was only going to have two cigarettes that day, I thought, oh my goodness, I'm almost there, you know? And I, even those two cigarettes I wasn't enjoying and I thought, well, I'm really going to quit, you know? And it was really kind of exciting. Your personalized stop smoking schedule is automatically designed by the computer based on your previous seven days smoking habits. It's tailored just for you, not for anyone else. Even though LifeSign is working for you and you may be excited and want to share the monitor with a friend, you won't be doing them a favor by giving them your quitting program. Your daily routine in stage two is very simple. Turn on your monitor in the morning. Every time the monitor beeps, you smoke a cigarette and push the smoke button. Then turn the monitor off when you go to bed at night. The monitor was my means of quitting smoking. And I took it with me everywhere. It told me when I could have a cigarette. I yearned to hear that beep at times. Um, I found it to be a very positive influence. It provided a discipline that I needed to quit smoking. But it's, it's fun, and it's, it's nice being programmed. Everybody thinks they're programmed, because you have these obligations and responsibilities and duties. But you aren't programmed until you have a machine that beeps at you. Yeah. And then you really become program and it's fun it's not a chore it's a fun program to have again the most important part of the process is sticking to it the program can only work for you if you follow it and as these users and thousands of others can attest it does work this may sound strange but the little computer that they give you sort of became my friend um, I I really began to trust it and, and I just gave all my willpower to this little box and I would only smoke when it beeped at me. So when I had to give it up, it was, it was a little bit difficult to see it go. I'm very proud of myself. I'm glad that I had the opportunity to do it and was able to take it all the way through. I uh, worried uh, sometimes along the way that I couldn't. But boy, when I got finished, I said, you said you could do it, and you really could. I'm very proud of you, as are my friends. In order for LifeSign to work for you, just follow one basic instruction in stage two. Every time the monitor beeps, smoke a cigarette, even if it's inconvenient. You're eating dinner, you're in a meeting, it's unpleasant. Oh, wait. Uh, what if I don't really want to have one now? What if I want to skip one and then want to wait and have it later on when I might really want it? No, Fred, sorry, you have to smoke it now. Smoking when you don't want to is an important part of the program. You're learning that smoking can be unpleasant. The greatest success comes from following the plan closely. 
If it's impossible to smoke when you hear the beep, do it as soon as you can and always push the smoke button. Carried this little thing around every once in a while it would beep. And I would smoke a cigarette when it beeped. And then I wouldn't smoke until the next time it beeped. And sometimes at the beginning it made me smoke more than I wanted to smoke because it was, I think it was beeping like every 25 minutes. And certain times of the day I don't smoke that often. But it would beep and I had to smoke. About, uh, and then, well, I don't smoke anymore. It's been uh, a year and a half. There may be times when you really want a cigarette and the computer says it's still not time to smoke. If you can, resist that urge and make it to the next beep. Each time you do, you're making important progress and gaining confidence that will carry you into a smoke-free life. There are many things you can do to help. Your exercise plan, get up and walk if you can. Have a glass of water or juice. Call your quit buddy or another friend for support. Peel and eat an orange that keeps your hands and your mouth busy at the same time. Try to remember all the reasons you want to quit. It's really not that long to the next beep, and you can do it. I, th I think the big thing is watching the days go down. That's what, it's at the end, of, it's, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel is when it's going to come up zero in the day, and I know it, it's supposed to play a fantastic song at the end when you quit. Mm. It's probably going to be Stars and Stripes Forever or something. I stuck with it, and I realized that my smoking habit was, it was a physical addiction that I needed to have that nicotine, but yet with Life Sign, the nicotine was gradually getting out of my system. So I had to think in terms of how to handle my stress without a cigarette, you know. Um, I would take walks. I uh, took an, um, an aerobics class. I chewed a lot of gum and ate a lot of Lifesavers, but it got me through all those rough spots. And I'm, I'm just really thrilled with it. Well, I know I'm proud of him. And I tell people that have never met him that he was three, four pack, non-filtered cigarette. I mean, it was bad enough it was three, four pack, but it was, there was no filter on it. And that, and that he quit with this little computer. And, you know, they look at me like, it's a miracle. But it's the truth. It was just fun after a while to realize it's been four hours since I right. lit my pipe, and I didn't even remember it. The darn thing went off and reminded me to do it. It was wonderful. And when it got to the point where it was six, eight hours, and twice, just down to twice a day, which is just prior to when you were cut off, um, it, it was great. Sometimes a person absolutely can't wait until the beep to smoke, and they smoke early. If it happens, you haven't failed. Everybody has a bad day or some part of the program that's more difficult for them. You may feel sometimes that the program is suddenly going too fast for you or it's hard to stay with it. Don't give up. It's perfectly normal. And the program's been designed to take that into account and adjust to your pace. Just remember that if you have to smoke early, always press the smoke button. You haven't failed. Let's say you're on day 26, and you're supposed to smoke a cigarette every so many, so many minutes, and you punch the machine. Then if during that day, you're, you're supposed to be honest with yourself on this machine, and if you smoke before it sells you, you can, you're supposed to push the button and get that discordant note back at you. But the memory's obviously remembering that, because if you break that program too many times in any one day, it automatically gives you another day on your program. So if you're on day 26, let's say, and you break it too many times, when you turn the thing on the next morning, it'll still be on day 26, see? So it really does tailor itself to me, and it tailors itself to her. But if you do that, it's almost like you've lost a day. Yeah. I mean, you aren't gaining well, any time by staying on yeah, but the, the, 26 the, for three days. I mean, it's... But the fact is, it does program itself to your needs. It's great. It's also nice to be able to repeat the days as you go along. Sometimes if you really need the cigarette or you really had a bad day at work and you 
can't wait the time, so you go ahead and have the cigarette, you push a button, and the machine knows that you smoked it early, and it'll repeat the day. And that way you can get used to the time frame. Sometimes it it's, um, spreads out the time between cigarettes too much, and you can't handle waiting that long. But if you know that you can wait a little bit longer today than you did yesterday, but still have the cigarette early, and then it'll repeat the day, and then tomorrow you'll be able to be used to that time, and you can make the day without having any problem. That's one of the things that makes it good that I liked about the program. Don't worry, Fred. Remember that if you do smoke early enough times, the program will adjust and you may repeat a day of your program. Your days to go will stay the same for an extra day. Again, if this happens, you haven't failed. Man, you guys think of everything. Having a slip, having quit and then having a cigarette is not failure. As a matter of fact, many people should expect that that should happen. And it's like every other piece of conventional wisdom. When you fall off the wagon, you get back up on it again. If you fail, you really haven't failed. You've had a slip. Failure is a word that I'd like to see disappear from the vocabulary of people dealing with this problem, recognizing that it's a long-term process, that adjusting to not smoking is very difficult, but that it can be done. And keep trying is the best advice that anyone could give. Sometimes someone who's using the program will do more than smoke early occasionally. For some reason, such as an extended illness or an unusually stressful experience, they go off the program altogether. If this should happen, consult your program guide. It will tell you how to restart your program. At some point during stage two, you may experience some withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawal is different for different people. Oh, tell me about it. Get this. This morning, I bit the dog. I killed my boss. Well, I didn't, but I could have. Uh, and remember my car? $1,393. Engine and transmission. It was quite a day. And what did you do? What did I do? I took a walk, and I feel great. Super. Stage two may present more challenges for some than for others, but all of those experiences are manageable, and the Lifesign program will help you deal with them. But remember, it's all worth it. The rewards will be there. The computer weans you off very slowly. By the time I got well into the program to about, to I guess, the 15th or 16th day of the program, the time between those cigarettes became greater and greater. And at that time, you begin to feel just what a cigarette's doing to your body. If you don't have a cigarette for six to eight hours, and then you do finally have one, it's like beginning to smoke from the very beginning. The dizziness, the nausea, there were times when I would have to sit on the sofa to smoke that cigarette that the computer was telling me to do because I couldn't stand up. I got too dizzy from it. I feel great. I'm proud of myself. Um, I view this as, as one of my major accomplishments in life. It sounds trite when you say I quit smoking, but it really is a major accomplishment. But I tried it, and, and I was thrilled because it was painless. It really was painless. I, uh, I didn't find myself being the slightest bit deprived. Twinges of it, but for the most part, I didn't, didn't feel like I was being deprived, that I would, you know, uh, something's being kept from me or taken from me. So I, I swear by it. I don't really think that I had any very bad moments during the entire program. There were a couple of times maybe when I by habit would reach for a cigarette and then suddenly realize I can't until the machine, the life sign machine, tells me that I can have a cigarette. I was realizing through this whole scenario that I was smoking more by habit than by anything else. And this was beginning to control it. So as you can see, the process of withdrawal from nicotine is really different for different people. Your experience may be similar to one we've just seen, or it may be entirely different. Whatever your particular experience, the end result will be the same. At the end of stage two, you will have stopped smoking cigarettes.
In stage three, we're looking at life without cigarettes. The idea of living without ever smoking again may give you butterflies, even now. When I got to, to quit day, um, it was, it was a, a little scary to say I'm never going to have another cigarette, and that, that bothered me a little bit, but the sense of accomplishment um, after 24 years, having done something that I talked a lot about, and uh, it, it was quite a feeling of, of accomplishment. So um, I felt good about it, but I was still in the, the throes of trying to reckon with being a non-smoker, too. But remember that the hardest part is over, and sticking with the program now will keep you smoke-free for life. You won't use your monitor at all in stage three, except in the rare instance when you relapse and start smoking again. The computer gives you a second chance to put yourself back on track. It's your stop smoking safety net if you should slip. Your daily routine in stage three is extremely important. Your exercise and diet program should continue. After all, if they're good for smokers, they should be even more beneficial for you now that you're a non-smoker. Spend time with your non-smoking friends or your quit buddy. They'll be your biggest fans and supporters now that you've gotten off cigarettes. If you can, avoid situations where you might be tempted to smoke. Now you can ask for the non-smoking section. You may be tempted to test yourself to try just one cigarette out of curiosity to see how they taste now. Not a good idea. Most of the people who smoke that one cigarette become smokers again. It's just not worth the risk. And people who think they can do it are fooling themselves. One other thing. You may have noticed that getting through stage two and becoming an ex-smoker doesn't mean that the urge to smoke goes away immediately. Every now and again, some occasion will happen or I'll be with an old college roommate and the thought will enter my mind, but I could never bring myself to actually pick up the cigarette again because it was such a terrible habit that I'm so afraid that if I just have one, I might start up again. So, but. And it's kind of amazing to me that I really smoked as much as I did. It's like my whole life has changed so much with the baby and everything. It just seems like that was an, another, I don't know, another world or something. Yeah. In order to help yourself stay smoke-free, you may need to repeat some of the techniques you use to get through the quitting process in stage two. For example, you'll still want to avoid those situations where you may be tempted to smoke. Tell people you'd rather they didn't smoke around you, at least for a while. And above all, stay with the program. Every time you resist the urge to smoke, you gain strength and confidence. There are four main ideas to remember that will help you every day, both during and after the Life Sign program. Number one, never forget why you wanted to quit smoking. Remembering the negative aspects of smoking and the benefits of quitting will smooth the way to staying smoke-free. Number two, stick to the program. The closer you follow it, the more likely you are to succeed. It works if you use it. Number three, don't get discouraged. Those low points are only temporary, and it will get better soon. And number four, you can do it. Life signs very simple, but also very effective. The folks you've just met all succeeded with the program, and you can too. If you have any questions about any aspect of the Life Sign program, please call us at 800-543-3744. Or if you'd like to order another life sign for a friend or relative, or maybe just recommend life sign to someone you'd like to see living free of cigarettes, just give us a call. Well, we're, we're spending about $30 a week on cigarettes in this house. And then if you multiply that by four and a third, it's $130 a month. Isn't it? Four times 30 is 120, another third. Four, $130 a month. Yeah, I'll be able to buy a new car. <laughs> Now that I've quit smoking, I feel better than I have in the last 20 years. Not only has it saved my life, it's made my life more enjoyable. Quitting smoking really made me feel that I could accomplish anything that I set my mind out to. I really was afraid of not being able to ever quit. It was really scary to me to think that I would have this habit for the rest of my life, and I quit. And it was such a great accomplishment that I really feel confident that I could do anything now. Finally, we would like to congratulate you on accomplishing one of the most difficult tasks anyone can undertake, stopping smoking. And our sincere good wishes, Fred, on your new life as an All right.
Hello, this is George. Fred here. Get a paper and pencil. Take down this number. 800-543-3744. George, you're not going to believe what I did. I quit smoking, and I feel great. Hey, give these guys a call.